today's Friday. I've been vlogging on Fridays. That's so funny. Um, today I was going to do a summertime vlog. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this. I know it's not school related, but it is summer and I'm a teacher, so this is kind of what we do. Um, so this morning I worked on a couple of things for my classroom, got a couple things organized. And now I'm getting ready to go meet a student and his mom for lunch. Um, his mom and I got pretty close during the school year and um, uh, I, I just love this child. So she, uh, I ran into her at Costco yesterday. She was like, you have to come have lunch with us. We have a surprise for your baby. So I was like, oh, that's so sweet. So I'm going to go have lunch with them at 1230. It is 1047 now, so I'm just getting ready. Um, I'm getting all the way ready because I hardly ever do and um, I just wanted to. And this, you're so sweet. These two are just being lazy with me. This one is just totally vegging. So I'm kind of thinking I might wear my hair extensions today. I really want to try this like Dutch braid thing with like longer hair, but I don't know if it's going to work, so I'm going to try it. I have hair extensions. I think you guys saw when I bought these. Um, I think it was last summer. I don't remember. But um, I do have hair extensions. These are just from Sally's. I don't like to spend a ton of money on them because I don't wear them a lot. Also, they kind of give me a headache sometimes which is another reason why I don't wear them a lot. I put dry shampoo in my hair even when it's clean because my hair is really thin and fine. And if I don't put hair dry shampoo in it, it won't move or work with me. <laughs> just to show you this way. So I tried to Dutch braid it across the back of my hair and then drape it this way. Oh my gosh, you guys, my hair turned out so cute. I absolutely love it. Okay, I'm going to try to show you what it looks like in the back. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom. So that's what it looks like in the back. You can't see any of my hair extension tracks which is good the braid goes all the way around my head and then and then pops out here so I'm currently sitting in my living room and I just wanted to show you what I did this morning this binder houses all my standards and curriculum items sorry you can't see my face this binder houses all my professional information so what I did is I went through both of these binders and kind of took and tossed some things away that I didn't need or that I wasn't using anymore or from different districts so that um, I could kind of clean it up. I have everything organized by standard or by subject. So this first one is the five C's because we're a five C school. Um, the second one is math. And so I have like easy merit information about math, um, some curriculum maps. These are like Sue Larson, inquiry, direct instruction, problem solving, maps, um, scoring, test scoring guide. So this is AZ Merit, um, basically kind of what's on it. Um, and then I'm going to put my math standards in here later because I'm planning to make a little flip book with them. And then for ELA, same thing. I have some uh, exit tickets that I need to move to a different binder, but I just kept them in here. This um, is some curriculum uh, mapping. I have technology standard uh, curriculum map in here. I have social studies standards and a curriculum map in here for my old district. We do not have a curriculum map in the district I'm in now, so I like to use the same one I used in the last district. It's just a nice way to have everything kind of planned already. Um, same thing for science. I have the science standards and the science curriculum map. And then back here I have AIMS because we still take AIMS science in fourth grade. Um, and so I have the AIMS practice test and answer keys in here because I always give my kids the practice test before they take the actual test. And then in here I just have some things like my password cheat sheet. Um, in here I have all my old 
um, staff photos. I just keep them for some reason. I don't know why. And then I'll put like loose papers in here. I have um, some how-to things for setting up the classroom at this school. So like how to set up your phone, how to set up your grade book, how to set up your like homework procedures. These are like notes from meetings and stuff. Um, these are like our district regulations, um, FERPA information and um, agreements that I've made when I signed my contract. So I have that all in there. And then I have my um, feedback form. So this is like an observation form that they use um, when they do walkthroughs, just so that I know what's coming, what they're looking for. Um, and then I have my old professional development information from my last district in here and I keep all of it is at my old my uh, school right now but I do keep my current professional development information here just so that when I go to renew my contract it's all done so that's what I've been up to this morning let's just talk about how clean my garage is right now <clears throat> This thing is going to my classroom, and like most of this stuff is going to my classroom. But um, yeah, let's take a look at my car. So this is the current status of my vehicle. It is filled, filled all the way to the brim with princess stuff. I think I have every costume except for maybe four or five characters in my car right now. Um, some things are happening with the company and I'm not going to share it with you yet, but some things are happening and I needed to collect almost every costume that wasn't being used to take home to clean, fix, wash, restyle. <laughs> and um, put together so that um, I could get it looking nice um, and my I'm taking it all to my mom's house tonight because that's where we keep everything because she has a little she actually has a little like closet thing that she keeps everything in she actually built it into her house when she built this house so and it's in her garage so we just keep everything in there and so I'm just taking it there so that it's all there. Uh, but I'm on my way to lunch, to have lunch with my student. Oh my gosh, I just love this kiddo. Um, his father is also an officer, so his mom and I clicked, of course, um, right away. And we're going to Red Robin, which I haven't been to in a long time. I don't know what I'm gonna get. Um, probably a sandwich of some sort, but anyway, yeah. You can see how like insane my car is. I can't even see out the back window, which is totally not safe at all, but I'm a wild child. And um, I've got all kinds of little furry friends in here. Fourth of July is my favorite holiday because I love all the festivities that go with Fourth of July. I love the barbecues, I love the fireworks, I love the parades. Um, I just love the Fourth of July. So. Maybe I'll do a 4th of July celebration vlog and talk about all my plans and such. Get that up by the end of the day on 4th of July. That would be cool. That would be really cool. Or even the next day. So, okay. I'm going to let you guys go because this clip is getting way too long. And I will see you guys soon. Alright guys, so I'm home. Please ignore my messy kitchen and messy house. I do not care. Um, but I just got the mail and this is the really exciting thing that I was getting in the mail. This, I don't really know what it is. Um, I'm not sure. So I'm going to open it and see what this is. It's a pretty big box, but it's not heavy. I thought it was going to be my cardstock, but it was handwritten. The address on it was handwritten. Three care spot. What? <gasps> Wait. Oh, is this my, oh, it's my little bear rug for my baby's room. How cool is this? It's 
It's like this little homemade bear rug. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so cute. Okay, I have to go put that in the nursery. Um, I'll do that later. But I'm gonna show you guys the really exciting thing that I've been waiting for forever. I'm getting out of that awful lighting and coming in here. Okay, are you guys ready? Drum roll, please. Crash Bandicoot! Guys, I used to play this game when I was a little kid and they came out with a new version of it for PS4 and I'm so excited! So I'm probably gonna spend a lot of time playing this now. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm so excited about. I pre-ordered it so that it would be here today because it came out today. So I'm going to put this in and play for a couple of hours and then head to my mom's. So I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had a wonderful Friday and I will see you in the next video. Bye!